beast mode lives on. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about documenting my process while writing and traveling at the same time. What's up, guys? So this is a different type of video. If this is your first video, my name is Michael Aran with authorlevelup.com, helping you master the craft of writing. Don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell, ding, 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 to get notifications whenever I have a new video. But this is going to be a vlog type video. So you guys know that I'm in beast mode right now. So on August 1st, I said I'm gonna write as many books as humanly possible until October 31st. It's October 13th now. I've written seven books <laughs> at this point. And I'm going on the road on vacation to visit my family in St. Louis, Missouri, and I wanna keep the beast mode momentum alive. So how do I do that? Well, I'm gonna bring you along with me and uh, we're gonna have some fun. But I wanna let you know that I got three goals. First goal is to make sure that I stay at inbox zero. So my email is at zero right now. I find that what is in my inbox, it's what's on my mind. And when there's nothing in my inbox, there's nothing on my mind. See, I'm a simple man. Second goal is I wanna write up to 5,000 words for my book, The Good Necromancer, book two, Cold Hard Magic. So I wanna start writing fiction while I'm away. That's about 750 words per day. We'll see if I can do it. Third goal is to maintain no lapse in content. So make sure I don't miss any YouTube videos. <laughs> make sure I don't miss any Writer's Journey podcast. Make sure I don't miss any writing tip of the day. And most importantly, make sure I don't miss any of my blog posts that document everything I'm doing on a daily basis during this beast mode. So follow along, we'll see if I can do it. And I got some stuff to do. So I gotta clean my studio. I gotta clean the bathrooms, get the house all ready. I'm gonna, uh, I mowed the lawn earlier this week, so I'm good on that. And uh, I need to record some podcast episodes. You know, it's gonna be weird to go back to my hometown. You know, I was born and raised in St. Louis and it's been five years since I've been back. And the last time I was there, I took my daughter there after she was just born so my family could meet her. And, you know, family is really important to me and I haven't been able to see my grandparents since the start of the pandemic and I, I'm very really close to them and see them quite a bit. And so I just wanna check in on them, make sure they're okay probably gonna be in people's driveways, <laughs> sitting in my car with a mask, waving. Um, it's about a six hour drive, but that's cool. We'll just get away, get away, be safe, and uh, uh, try to have a little bit of a relaxing time. So I know many of you are asking uh, probably what I'm gonna pack and what I'm gonna take on the challenge, so I thought I'd share that. This here is a battery case. Uh, I don't recommend this particular brand because it's kind of dying on me, but I use this to have an extra battery on my phone. That's helpful for when I'm writing on the go because writing can uh, definitely take up the battery power. I've also got uh, some Amazon Echo Buds here. Uh, these are pretty cool. I just got these and uh, I use these to listen to audiobooks and all that stuff when I'm on the road. Very helpful and also very battery intensive. And then I've got a portable power bank here. This, uh, I got this on Black Friday for like 40, 50 bucks. Best, one of the best investments I ever made. This can charge my phone at least two times, maybe two and a half times. So if I'm on the road and I really need power, this will be helpful. I'll also have power in my car, so I shouldn't have to worry about power too much, but if anything were to happen, this is a very, very good investment. Definitely pick yourself up one of these, even if you don't happen to write on your phone. And then I've got a PowerPoint clicker here that I'm gonna use for my class. And then I've got a, uh, uh, VGA cable that I can use to hook my laptop up to uh, uh, one of the monitors because that'll be helpful and then uh, for teaching my class and then I've got a selfie stick here uh, this stick is pretty cool I, I, some cheap stick I got off Amazon um, cool thing about it is that it extends up to five feet and it's also got a little tripod at the bottom so this guy will be my little friend as uh, I record b-roll and stuff for you guys when I'm on the road and then I've got a uh, rocket book here and I, I take this on the road with me because I sometimes use it. And whenever I have ideas, I write them down in this notebook here. And then lastly, I got the Full Focus Planner by Michael Hyatt. Uh, this is a pretty cool planner. Uh, my wife got this for me for um, our anniversary and uh, it tracks about 90 days. And what I happen to like about it is that um, it really helps you stay organized. So I haven't used that much in it, but you can kind of see it's got kind of, kind of got a place where you can put big three goals which I try to have three goals every day. Uh, I can check off my rituals. Um, there's a little bit of an appointment calendar here, room for other tasks and uh, ways to make notes. But what I really like about this 
is that at the end of every week, it kind of walks you through like a weekly preview. So you can list what your biggest wins are. Um, you can talk about what worked, what didn't. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty useful tool to help you stay organized. So that's what I'm taking when I'm on the road. Essential oils. Should I take them with me? Should I not take them with me? I won't take them with me, but I really did think about taking one of them, but uh, I just can't make myself do it. This is my pet rabbit. So I know you guys had to see the pet rabbit in here too. That's Fifi, say hello. So she's gonna be on her own while we're on vacation. So my strategy at this point is to write on my phone and have as many productive sessions as I can. I, I think I said that I'll have uh, some time in the back seat of my car because I'm not gonna be driving most of the way both ways. So that'll be a good time to get some time in. And then I'll be using Scrivener iOS and Ulysses iOS. I am taking my laptop, which is pretty rare. I usually don't take my laptop when I travel. So I will be able to maybe have one or two writing sessions at my desktop as well. Plus, I've got to start publishing books because my designer and my editor are gonna be sending books back to me while I'm on the road. And I'm going to be doing some research while I'm in St. Louis, too. So I'm going to be writing my next novel, Cold Heart Magic, and uh, it's in my Good Necromancer series. This is book one. I'm going to be writing book two. I'll throw that on the screen here. And I'm really looking forward to writing this because it takes place in St. Louis, and we might be going to uh, Forest Park. We might go to the Arch. And uh, Forest Park plays pretty prominently into book three. And so uh, it'll be cool to be back in my town and uh, take in the sights and the smells and uh, make the fiction more realistic. So if we do that, I'll be sure to document it. So just woke up, it's the first day. We're gonna be headed to St. Louis here in about an hour and a half. Um, took care of everything, um, inbox is at zero. Got covers back from, uh, two covers back for Beast Mode. So I'm gonna be uploading one of those books to my patrons. I take care of them before I leave and then hitting publish before I leave as well on my writing tips book. So good stuff and I'm ready to roll. So I'm at a rest stop and uh, had a chance to review a few chapters in the book and it is a lot more complicated than I thought. <laughs> I left it at a really interesting, intricate spot. So I'm gonna have to review a few more chapters and uh, definitely gonna have to sacrifice some road time to get familiar with the, with the book, but all good so far. Still at inbox zero. Here at the hotel we made it safely to st louis and as i said this novel is a lot more complex than i remembered so i had to do a lot of remembering what i wrote <laughs> i had to read everything and review my outline so i was only able to get 135 words written on my phone during the time i was here so i'm going to meet with a friend now maybe get some words in after that and uh we'll we'll just play it by ear but the first night successfully here All right, so it's Thursday morning. I'm all set up in this hotel conference room. Uh, it's one of the boardrooms. They gave it to me at like a ridiculous reduced rate because uh, there's no one here at the hotel. <laughs> so I'm teaching this class. I'm not gonna have anyone in the room with me. All the people I'm teaching are in California, but I'm all set up, I'm good to go. And I had about an hour's worth of downtime. It's about, uh, I think nine o'clock right now. Class starts at 10. So I was able to get about 200 words in on my phone, ready to go. I even answered some emails and uploaded this week's YouTube video, which is a video on fear. So hopefully I'll have some more breaks throughout the day to get some stuff done. But so far off to a pretty good start. All right, I didn't get my 50 words in, but that's okay because my editor just sent me an email that my one of my books is now done and edited. So I need to get that into vellum tonight. So. I'd call that a win. All right, so I'm, I'm having a bad hair day, but I'm just gonna roll with it anyway. So I'm at lunch, uh, it's like two o'clock, but I'm teaching this class, so they're California time, and i um, gonna eat some lunch, and uh, did not get the opportunity to do any writing throughout the morning, as to be expected. So I, um, I'm gonna try to get in about 50 words. Hopefully I can do that before uh, I've gotta go back and start teaching the class. And then uh, it's just a short, 
short uh, afternoon and then I'll be done and free and I'll be able to get some more writing in before uh, family time later today. All right, so it's my last night in St. Louis and I gotta say that I had a great day because I spent it all with family. I got to see cousins and grandparents and uncles that I wasn't able to see for years. And so that was a really amazing thing. And I had a lot of conflicts um, today. So my cover designer sent me back a cover for one of my books. So I knocked that out, got the cover slapped on in vellum and got a book published. So as far as I'm concerned, it's been a hell of a day. Um, if that wasn't enough, my designer for uh, this project Atlas that I'm doing, um, which I'll, I'll announce it on the channel later, <laughs> uh, sent me back nine maps. So she's already a month behind schedule. So I had no choice but to take care of her and give her the feedback that she needed. And also had opportunity to uh, take care of some emails. I got myself booked for another promo event that's gonna happen here later in November. And um, yeah, there's just a lot of really good stuff going on, um, but I wasn't able to get any words in. But another good thing is that uh, I was able to uh, travel to a part of town where um, Lester Broussard, my main character in the Good Necromancer series, uh, lives. And so uh, I was driving, so I wasn't able to take any footage of it. Um, but uh, it's, it's, I got some really good material that I can use um, in the book. So I'm excited about that. Again, it's a zero word day, fail but uh, not, not, a, not a failure by any means in my book. So this, my friends, is a meal of the gods. It's a place in St. Louis called Lion's Choice. They do roast beef sandwiches. Mm. So I'm back from St. Louis. How did I do? How did uh, my goals go? I'm rested, all unpacked, back to writing, back to doing my normal thing. Well, you know, I didn't get the results I wanted to get. There were some victories and there were some setbacks. The biggest victory is that I stayed at Inbox Zero for most of the trip, which was great because it allowed me to come back and hit the ground running. No lapse in content, which was awesome because I didn't have any break and interruption in content for all of you, but I did not get uh, my 5,000 words <laughs> toward my novel done. And you know, it, it, it's really, this is an arbitrary goal. It's not the end of the world. I've been on some vacations where I've been able to get a crazy amount of words done, more than that. I've been on other vacations like this one where I got next to nothing and it kind of is what it is. Um, it's a great way to end beast mode because in the next week or two, beast mode is gonna be done. And so I feel really proud about the accomplishments that I made. I mean, I published two books while I was on the road. I got two books off to my editor <laughs> and off to my cover designer while I was on the road. So I was insanely productive. I just didn't hit the goals that I set out to hit. So let me know what you think of this video. Did you enjoy this? Would you like to see more content like this from me moving forward? Um, yeah, I'd love to take you guys on the road with me next time I do it. So thanks for watching. Talk to you in the next video.